makes me to fix sorry about that okay so you're on the side of your heart and we've gone to the lower belly where your hip is so we're just going to do some circles here so um sometimes with constipation it's because the um intestine it's got this natural peristalsis where it sort of goes like this it just moves it moves uh, pieces inside um, and it might be a little bit slower the transit time takes longer then so when we do some tummy massage it will help to um, speed things up a little bit and then moving up and again we're just going to do little circles so we're moving up towards the heart so i'm about halfway between my pelvis and my rib cage here yeah? this will also be releasing any oblique tightness as well Okay, moving underneath the rib cage now. So this is all going to be in the soft area of your tummy. We won't be going over any bones. You might notice that some areas feel a little bit more sensitive than others. So if they are too sensitive to push down, because remember, we want to go into the um, where all your or um, intestines are so you don't want to be working on this soft tissue up here you want to go down a bit um, if it does feel a bit too sensitive just hold and breathe and that should help to soften whatever tightness is in that area moving along now to the just above the belly button Good. Moving to underneath your right side rib cage. I get my left and right mixed up, so I have to really think about it. And the idea here is to let your tummy flop. So don't be holding your tummy, otherwise you can't get through the muscle into the intestine. So make sure that your tummy is really floppy. It might be hard for some of you to relax those tummy muscles. Good. And just on the lower belly, inside of the right hip bone. Okay, so now we've softened everything. Now we're going to go back underneath your heart and you're going to push down And then we're going to go to right side underneath the rib cage, across to the left side. So basically, like a traffic jam, we need to start from the first car to vacate. We can't start from here. We have to start from the front of the line. So we've just vacated the front of the line. And now we're going to the second car. And that's coming across. Normally I do about five strokes and then we're going to go to the right hip and we're sliding up towards the right rib cage. If your baby is constipated, you can do the same thing for baby. This is useful for baby as well. I used to do this to my son, but I never thought to do it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> They're just smaller anatomies. It does exactly the same. Good. Um, now, I know one of you has a C-section. I can't remember who. Um, that's me. Okay. Have you ever massaged your scar itself? Yeah, I've been doing that. Um, Stephanie taught, taught me how to do it, and she did it for me as well. Perfect. Um, I'm really sorry, but I've got to. Is the class is the class one hour or an hour and a half? Um, no, I've just run over a little bit. Oh, I'm really it's... sorry. I've got to. I've got to dash and grab my baby off my husband because he's got to go back. To no work. problem. That's um, okay. Sorry to I was just about to interrupt. Interrupt. That's okay. I'll keep recording this little tiny bit. 
Okay, I'll I'll okay. just um I'll just leave now. But thank you so much, and I'll yeah I'll catch up with the homework and stuff. No problem. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye, Claire. Bye. Okay, so that's your um constipation, and yeah. then um for diastasis, what I like to do as well is to bring in the side. So I'm going to lie down so that you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to take my right hand all the way around to my left side and I'm wrapping my hand around into the back. And then we're just going to slide the hand. We're not going to go past the midpoint, so we're just stopping at the belly button. Okay. So bring your hand all the way around and just to the midpoint. So we don't just want to go in line with the belly button, we want to go around the hip area into the lower belly and also around the back of the ribs and to the front of the ribs and never going across past this midline because we don't really want to be opening diastasis mm. okay and take your fingers when you're over the rib cage and pop the, the fingers inside the gaps of your ribs you might find that there might be some tender points there. And if you do, again, you hold that, just breathe through it. Okay. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. So let's take your left hand into around your lower back on the right side. And we're just sliding your hands to the center. So this will help to release muscles, the, the fascia and the lower back, and also through the sides of your tummy as well and also the intercostals, which are the muscles inside the, the rib cage area between the gaps of the ribs. You can do this for as long as you like, maybe five minutes is quite a nice time to spend uh, connecting with your tummy. If you don't like to touch your tummy skin on skin, you can do this through clothes as well, okay? So it doesn't have to be skin on skin. You can use oil. You don't have to use oil. It's totally up to you, whatever feels nice to you. And then lastly, we're just going to tuck your uh, right hand fingers underneath the right side rib cage. And we're just moving along. I'm just going to come up to the screen. So literally taking those fingers right under there and just releasing all those tummy muscles that are attached to your ribs, okay? Again, if you find tenderness, just hold it and breathe. And then doing the same to the other side. If you're not used to doing something like this, it might feel a little bit tender tomorrow. And that's normal because obviously we're stretching muscle which hasn't been stretched before in this way. Hands on your tummy, big breath in and out. Good, and you're all done. Thank you.